And I think the fact that it is closer means that we'll get there sooner. Um, but that's what our guys do. A local EMS crew is heading down to the devastated areas of New Jersey to help the victims of Hurricane Sandy. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm J.B. Buno. Thanks for joining us here on the Late Edition in High Definition. More reports are coming in from up and down the northeast coast that the devastating damage caused by Superstorm Sandy is widespread and people will be cleaning up for a long time. That's right, and they'll need help. That's why volunteers from a local volunteer ambulance service is traveling south to help the people of New Jersey recover. WENY TV's Joe Melillo talked to their chief about how they're helping out. He joins us live in the studio with the story. Joe. Laura, it's really a great story. The Greater Valley EMS station in Sayer sent two paramedics and two EMTs down to the affected areas in New Jersey. Now, the team should be able to give emergency responders down there a break from the action. Now, just before 2 o'clock this afternoon, Greater Valley EMS Chief Charles Beamett got a call from the Pennsylvania said, Department I'm of Health. They requested two ambulances to go down to New Jersey to help the victims of Hurricane Sandy. And in a half an hour, Greater Valley had those two ambulances with four responders on their way to the meeting point in Scranton. Now the crew responded to both Hurricane Katrina and Gustav. So they've been through this before. Once the team gets to New Jersey, they will be responding to 911 calls and any emergency medical calls. They're also a part of a strike team consisting of 10 other ambulance services from Eastern Pennsylvania. Chief Beamett says there are always, they are always prepared for situations like this and to help others at the drop of a hat. That's what our guys and ladies do. They respond to disasters. They, they help each other. They help people that need it and we're ready to go 24 7 whether it's right here in the valley where it's right here in this part of new york state or pennsylvania or whether it's someplace else in the country uh, we're part of a larger organization and a larger system that can prepare can respond anywhere in the country now chief beeman says his crew will stay in new jersey helping from anywhere from three to five days even a week if they have to now live in the studio joe melillo weny tv news jb